So at this part, you're like, Mitt, how do I load the texture map so I can make sure that it still works? So we can click all this and have all these fancy lines and stuff, but we want to make sure that we click um, the world uh, like this one. Yeah, and it, it'll make a purple, which is not what we want. That means there's something wrong. Um, so let's talk some basics real quick. Um, we will need to use the shader editor um, to be able to see it, as you can see. But then it got rid of the the model, so we need to figure out how to have both at the same time, just for simplicity's sake. So I'm going to go back to the 3D viewer, and if you look, if I go to the very corner, I can click and drag a whole nother screen, a duplicate, and I'm going to turn that duplicate into something else. But if I don't want it there, um, oops, I actually made a, a third one. So if I don't want one there, I can click the same spot and drag up and it'll just collapse over itself. Um, that actually took a second to figure out and I did it on my own, so I'm pretty proud. Anyway, we're going to go to the 3D viewer, our um, shader, editor, whatever, and it's going to bring us a bunch of nodes. And if you've used DaVinci, um, you probably kind of recognize these. They look really similar. So this says the metallic and this is the base. So we already know um, from previous videos what needs to be put in these. So I'm going to put the albedo one in here. Um, and boom, it looks great. And I've messed around on my own time on the metallic. And I actually prefer it when I put the albedo in the, met in the metallic one as well. I just think it looks better. But um, we're just going to put the metallic one in the metallic slot. Oh, it, had a, it took a second to load there. I thought I was freaking out. <laughs> but yeah, so it looks good. Um, that's how it's supposed to render into the game. But as you saw, the uh, map looks horrible. Um, it's just not game friendly. Um, and I... I just highly recommend find an asset that's meant for uh, coming in into the game. Anyway, so that's how you get the map over your textures, um, which I would assume you would you would already have the textures if you imported it, because it, it kind of comes with it, you know what I mean? <laughs> but just take a look around. It looks pretty good. Um, it's weird seeing ripped up flesh, but yeah, that's how you do it.